In this video, I'm going to be performing a high voltage experiment using this vacuum chamber you see right here. Now I could not use the metal pot that came with the vacuum chamber because I needed a way to get two high voltage leads or probes inside the vacuum chamber. So what I did is I went to my restore and looked for a pot that was very similar that had a nice flat edge on top so I could have a positive seal on the vacuum chamber. And it also had to be strong enough so I wouldn't have to have the risk of an implosion when this is all the way down to minus 30 inches of mercury. I also wanted to be able to drill two holes into the pot to insert the high voltage wires. So I used my carbide drill bit. It was a 3 16 bit. Inserted the wires, applied silicone sealant on the outside and the inside, and allowed it to dry for 24 hours. To generate the high voltage arc for this experiment, I'm going to be using this module that was removed from a stun gun. Now you can find these on the internet, many different websites, but to make it easy and to save you money, because I'll also be including coupon codes, you can find this at the link in the video description area. I installed an on off switch that will allow the arc to take place inside the vacuum chamber. And here's the negative and positive supplying 6.25 volts. The power supply I'll be using is the same one that I show on my channel in a product review. It's right over here. It's an excellent little power supply. It's very compact and it goes up to 5 amps and 30 volts. There's also another version that goes up to 10 amps. I'll make sure a link has been placed in the video description area for this power supply unit. Now the purpose of this experiment is to compare how a high voltage arc acts in a normal atmosphere inside the chamber with no vacuum applied, then compare it to when a vacuum is applied, and then once the vacuum's been applied, I'm going to draw in only helium into the chamber and see how the arc reacts with helium. First thing I'm going to do is show you what the arc looks like and sounds like with air alone inside this chamber. I'll move the camera right here, turn it on, let it run. Once it's finished, I'm going to move the camera back to here, and then I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump, draw it all the way down to minus 30 inches of mercury. Okay, you can see the wires are about a half of an inch apart inside the chamber. Here we go. Now we're going to evacuate all the air from inside this chamber and then try the test again. Now we're going to put the camera back where it was so you can look inside the chamber. Now I'm going to turn on the high voltage module and we're going to see what goes on between those points. Nothing's been adjusted inside, it's exactly the way it was earlier. Here we go. Alright. All we see is the corona and it actually makes sense because there's no more gases inside the chamber to ionize. So we see that. Now I'm going to allow a little bit of air to enter the chamber. Right now we're at negative 30 inches of mercury. Let me gradually let it go and we'll see when it starts to arc between the two points. So let's do this. All right. And let me just let a little bit in. Trying to connect. 
There you go. That's negative 23 inches of mercury. And you can hear it even sounds different. All right, so I'm going to let more and more air in, and we're going to see how this gets brighter and brighter and how the sound changes while the arc is operating. Here we go. back to normal again. Now we have the air back in the chamber. Very interesting demo. You will not get any arcing between those points unless there is air inside that chamber. And here's with the wires very close together under vacuum. No arc. I have a sixteenth of an inch space and we're only getting the corona. Let's slowly let the air back in. Here we go. And now it arcs. And you can see the interference in the camera as well. The last thing I want to do is I'm going to pull a vacuum one more time. And I'm going to allow only helium to be drawn inside this chamber. Now I'm going to take helium from a balloon. Place it right over this end. Allow it to be drawn in when I open the valve. I'm going to let it go all the way to where it goes to zero. Just keep the lid on it. Then we're going to turn on the high voltage generator to see what the arc looks like inside the chamber filled with helium. Okay, there's helium now inside the chamber. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. You can see the arc is different between the two wires rather than branching out like it did with the oxygen in the air. It goes in a straight line from side to side, and it also has a pinkish or reddish glow to it. And it sounds a little different too as well. Put the light off. Now I'm going to let the air back in, and we're going to compare the two. Go. Okay, I let the air in. Now let's see the difference. Yep, and there is a big difference. It's a lot more noise, and you got the branching going out, and it's also white light rather than pinkish light. One more thing I want to do now. A little bit of oxygen here. Directed right at it. Okay, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.